All right, guys, so today we're gonna fix a 20, 2012 Honey Veloster. Uh, basically, the problem was that I cannot open my trunk because there is no button right there. I don't know if that disintegrated due to heat or my heavy hands. Um, but anyways, the point is, I went to the dealership and they're trying to charge me $1,000 in order to fix this, but I'm about to show you how to do it for $40, right, Ethan? So, yeah, um, what I got here is I just got a, um, a prying tool, just got it from a local auto zone, pretty cool. And then um, I'll leave the link down in this description, but this is the actual button that needs to be in there. Obviously, uh, the two don't look the same because this one's the better one. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. So what you're going to want to do is you want to come up to your trunk and you just want to pry this off using your tool. Um, whichever tool you got, it'll work out well. I mean, um, if it's this tool. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's go ahead and pry it off. Some things are in there. It's not too hard. Trump, man. Oh, you yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Alright. Alright, so that's off. Then, so after you take this whole assembly off, you're gonna have these, basically all these things, I don't know what the heck are. gonna want to take out these three screws right here so you got um, a screw right here a screw right here on this side and a screw right here so this is just me looking out for the main compartment right here um, this is basically your switch right here so you're gonna want to unplug this um, up out of here so you just want to unplug that out first because that switch is actually the one that you have for your part right here so yeah so just went on, unscrew those, just whatever tool you can find, and just take those babies out. All right, guys, so we just pulled out, we released those two screws, I mean, three screws, um, and we pulled out the emblem. Um, yeah, so it's kind of hard to tell. You gotta kind of um, take it out, like Excalibur out of here. Um, once you take those three screws out, you still have these uh, body clips still left in there. Um, so you just want to really, I mean, it feels like you're going to break it, but you're not going to break it. Just tug really hard and you can get that baby out of there, but it is a little bit difficult. So this is a bad switch, as you can tell. Um, yeah, it doesn't have that rubber coating like that, um, like my new one does. So we're just going to replace, yeah, we're just going to replace these two. So as you can see a difference, obviously one has rubber on it. Yeah, of course, uh, one does not. So yeah, this is how it looks like from the inside. So yeah, we're just gonna replace this real quick. And yeah, hopefully it screws in together and everything. All right, so what you wanna do after this is you wanna take out these two screws right here. This one and this screw right here. You wanna take those two out so you can get that, um, the older one uh, out of there. So yeah, I'm gonna do that for you real quick. Okay, so it actually turns out, um, gotta take, gotta take both screws out. Yeah, gotta take them both out. And then you just take this part out right here. All right, guys. So we got that part out. We got the bad switch. Big ass hole in it. Look at that shit. All right, we'll take that out, and then we just put this new switch in. All you gotta do is basically just face it upwards, and it goes in. Uh, sorry, goes in just like that. Essentially, <laughs> you just want to put it in, and then uh, screw drive it in, and everything, and you're good to go. So yeah, let me screw drive this thing in and put the new one in. All right, y'all. So I got it installed inside. So all you have to do is just screw everything back on right there. 
and put the new button in. See, it's all good to go. I see there's no, there's no daggone hole in it no more. It's the actual button now. Yeah. So all we gotta do is just put it back in here. We're good to go. All right, guys, we are just screwing this thing back on with a little help from my, from my phone right here. Uh, so oh, you can see, oh, the shit. That shit just dropped, huh? Oh, where'd it go? Um, just plug okay. it back in. Like okay. I said, just a new switch. It's pretty self explanatory yeah. Just put the switch back in, and you are good to go. But right now, we are having a little trouble putting in this third screw. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, guys, check it out. We completed it. We screwed everything back in, put the interior. So, we get that $1,000 because we just fixed it ourselves. It's good to go. Look at that.